The problem is I have this bell monitor and it's huge. The old, the old Baylor is old, uh, so it, ha it uses a it uses a bell monitor the size of a 1970s stereo system, and uh, it's huge. So the problem is, is that old Heston 550 uses a bell monitor like this. Well, I don't <clears throat> quite understand why they had to use such a big box for, for four lights uh, and, a, and a, a, well, a power light and a, and a switch. There is a buzzer on it and things like that. There's not much inside of it. It would be, you know, they could have made this box about half the size, but they didn't. They made this box huge, and, and that's part of my issue. So I don't want to mount this actually in my tractor, so I'm trying to figure out something different for that. I do, I use a lot of times, I use a, a bucket in my tractor on, on, where I can take it in and out. It have a few tools in it, things like that. So I'm trying to come up with a you know, the idea, suggestion of how to, how, to, how to use this bucket, but not, I mean, how to use this monitor, but not actually mount it inside the tractor. I've come up with a couple ideas uh, on the back of this. There is a, a place to for a, for a mount, something like this right here, where you actually slip this in. This is a little bit too big. But I'm thinking about using this, where I can slip this inside of here like this. And, and then mounting, basically mounting this to the bucket. Probably what I would do is I would cut a slit within a lid, which is what I have right here, and slide this in. And then I would have a place to actually mount this to. And then I could just keep the bucket in there, take this in and out, take the bucket in and out when I need to. One of the things I run into though, is that I also carry a water can. A water can when I'm bailing hay is so that I don't burn something down. A lot of times it's more likely I'm gonna catch some field on fire from the disc cutter, or I'm gonna catch the field on fire uh, while bailing, uh, because the baler has bearings that might get hot in there and then catch the bale on fire and, and, and so forth. I don't carry a fire extinguisher, I carry this. Uh, it's two and a half, this, I think this one's two, two gallons or two and a half gallons of water is what this one is. Uh, this is not a cheaper, it's not one of the cheaper plastic ones. Let's see, on the side here it says, uh, yeah, it says it's 10 liters. So with that said, um, we're gonna play with this a little bit. Uh, and I think I can do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in this so that I can set this lid top of here put this inside of here and then what I might do somewhere on here is cut another hole in the side only so I can put some tools in there a few tools in here then we're gonna see if we can mount this to it this may get just overwhelming and it may not work at all I know that so let's just see what happens I mean I, what I got to lose you know but I have hay to bail today actually I've got to rake the hay and then bail the hay and so forth and I got a lot of things to cover so let's get started on this and see what we can come up with okay I did find this. I don't know why it is that everything has to be hard to find around here. I have all these places to store stuff and nothing's stored where it's supposed to be. So, you know, normal day. This is a carpet cutter or something. I don't know. I don't do carpet. So, let's go ahead. That sounds dangerous. I don't think that's in there right. Okay, guys, I'm not a carpet guy. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. I think, well, I think that's what that's supposed to be. Let me throw that down there real quick. Get that out of my way. And then we'll put it back in. Tighten it back up and see what happens here. I don't know. All right, so let's cut this out. We're gonna just kinda, I'm gonna play this by ear. Do I have a plan? No, what for? just do it sometimes the best plans are not planned why don't you just mount this in the tractor well maybe later right now I don't have time for that I don't have the equipment to do that and I'm coming up with, I'm trying to come up with some some ideas I also don't want to have to carry this metal one around in the tractor all the time it, it does this it bangs around and moves and and there's a lot of times that's you're up against the windows or something and it's doing this yes if i put it up tight i put something on the back like a a fire extinguisher mount or something like that and bolt it to the frame of the tractor 
or weld it, which I don't want to do. Uh, yes, it would definitely make a difference and it would not bang around and it would take up less real estate. But at the same time, I've got a couple other things I need to accomplish and I don't have time today to mess with that. And so maybe if I just do this, just this today, and it might be a permanent fix for now, it may be one of those, it may be one of those temporary permanent fixes. And uh, you know how that goes. I'm gonna call that probably where it needs to be. It's not perfect, it's not beautiful, but it looks pretty good to me. So I don't even know which direction this is gonna go. How about if I just put it like that? So this is gonna matter how it sits on the tractor. Wherever I put the cut in this for this, it's gonna stay. Actually it goes this way. Let's put this thing in there. This is full of water, so it's not like, oh, look at that. It fits almost like it was supposed to go in there like that. All right, so that's in there. It's gonna bang around a little bit. It's gonna make a little bit of racket, but how about this? Can I do this? So the other thing I'm gonna do is once I get this in here is I'm gonna drill two holes in here. We're gonna bolt this to the side. Okay, we're just gonna bolt, we're just gonna bolt this to the side so that it doesn't move around. The reason this lean is on here is because this leans this back just a little bit like this. And that way I can see the monitor itself. Like I said, that monitor is the size of an A-track player or bigger. And uh, it's too big. Nowadays they have monitors the size of your, t your cell phone. And they do everything. They even tell you the moisture content in your hay sometimes. That's a lot. A lot of a lot of stuff to actually go wrong, but at the same time, it's really amazing how how many things you can get these monitors and other things to do. It really is. Okay. So I need to cut this down to fit this. Alright. So this is going to go in this way, like this, and this is the wrong size. So I'm just going to take a, take a quick guess at it because it kind of angles. Give me a reference point, and I'm going to grind this off real quick. Well, that's a lot of weight, but... Ouch, that's hot. That didn't, take, that didn't take long to figure out. I didn't want to touch that. We're going to slide this in like this. We're going to screw this to here. <sighs> Let's see. How am I going to do this? I think what we're going to do is that. I'm going to go ahead and knock it down because I'm going to use a drill to drill the hole. But before I put it on there, I'm going to make sure this is not going to be a problem here. See, the, see now what I have room here. You can see that. And this, this is going to sit in the tractor kind of like this. And that gets everything out of my way. And this is, this is where I can see it. And I used to use a baler without any type of monitors back years ago. And we never had a monitor. But at the same time, the bailers now with monitors sometimes like... For example, I can't even see the twine feeding onto the, and yes, I'm using twine, I'm not using a, a net wrap, but I can't even see the twine feeding into the bale, so I can't even see if that's running. So there's a sensor that tells me that the twine is, is, is wrapping the bale or the twine has not cut and is still wrapping the bale when it shouldn't be. There's a blinking light here that tells me my twine is, is, is putting twine on the bale and then there, once, I, once I've come to the end of my wrap, it's supposed to cut it, and, and then that blinking light will slow down and only come to a stop. And when that happens, that tells me that this, that twine has actually cut as well. So I, I can see by using this, I can see that my twine is, is, is doing its thing. I can see that it's cutting, and I can see that I'm done. It also tells me that the gate is down. Uh, it does tell me that. 
Uh, it's supposed to tell me right or left on the bells. I very seldom ever see a problem with that because like I said, I used a bell without one of these. So um, I've never, don't really have a whole lot of problem with that. But, uh, and then it tells me if there's a full bell um, buzzer or bell alarm on here that also goes off. I, I usually stop it just before the alarm goes off because of the alarm is annoying as it can be. All right, let me see if I can get this bolted in here. I think we're going to go somewhere in there. We may have to straighten this up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything in place like it is. And I'm going to drill a, I'm going to drill a hole here and I'm going to drill a hole here. And that way I can see this behind here. And then I'm just going to mark it, pull it out, drill the holes, put the bolts in, slid, slide this lid over the top of it when I'm done and call it, it, call it good. And then what I might do is I might cut a hole here in the side. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but that's only to store some tools in. Maybe I can, maybe I can drop some tools in there. Something big enough I can get my hand in. Big old paws in there. Okay, let's see what we got. So like I said, this is all a guess. I don't know, you know, I don't even know if it's gonna work. I'm going to take this up just a little bit. I'm going to step this up. And I'm going to step this one up. Step bits are awesome. Okay. That takes care of that. That's in there. Okay, so we have mounted this in here. I have... I, can't, I ran into a small problem back here on the back side. I had to trim these little these little pieces out right here. Uh, and the reason is because the lid wouldn't close because this is pushing against this and then hitting these. So that, it's not a big deal. I just trimmed them out of the way. And then I took the step bit and I, I, I basically just went like this and trimmed this out a little bit real easy, kind of like late, using a little lathe or something. And now I've got a lot more room. Uh, it should just should just snap on down in there. It's not quite doing it yet, but it will. There it goes. Well, you have to push this down. And then now this will snap down. Before I do that though, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cut this hole in the side of this thing. And I think I am, because I really need to use it for the tools. We're gonna mark over about three, about three inches is right there. We're gonna get us a just a, a mark on here. Do the same thing on the bottom. Use this. Mark over about three inches. Oh, go in there. I lost my three-inch mark. Right there. Let's slap the lid on and see how she works. I do have to push this down just a little bit to get that lid to snap on right there. Okay. Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that there. Okay. That's what we got. We have a bucket with a hole in the top so the can can fit in there. This right here can now just mount onto here. Now I will, I do, I do realize that you have this problem. I know that. I and most of the time the can, this can is in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to. Uh, there's a, there's a door keeper or I don't know what they call it. It's a latch to keep the doors. Uh, if you want to have your doors open a little bit, right behind this. And I'm just, I could just like, you know. I don't know, tie it to that for now. 
that'd keep things from falling over. I'm thinking about it, I don't know. Again, all this is up in the air. This is a lot better than what I was doing. <laughs> I had it on the floor, pointed up at me, and that's, <laughs> that, that's it works, but it's not always the best of things. There, that's in there. This sets on here like this. And that's what I'm trying to get. You have a little spot here, you can put your tools in. Some, some tools in it. Just something to keep, keep with you. You know, if you're out in the field and you need to get to something, I at least can reach in here and pick something up and get something out of it. Well, that was my idea for the day. I just had to get something done because I got to get out in the field and, and get some hay cut. Um, we'll, we'll get that taken care of this afternoon and hopefully get some hay off the ground. Uh, if the sun's out, I'm pretty sure that it's dry enough for me to go rake. So I need to go get over there, get it raked, and get the hay off the ground. So we appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time.